what up? So um, today, I actually went to go do some, I need to go do some stuff, but first we're gonna stop by the homie Saeed's birthday parade, little brother's birthday parade. We got the homie Adrian and the little SI, and we're gonna go pick up the boy Hyro, and hopefully go make this kid a happy birthday. So, we're coming in clutch. Hey, that, that thing looks clean rolling. That thing looks clean rolling. What's up, dude? That shit look hard. I, I was telling you to flip it right there so you wouldn't get it dirty. Oh, that's all right. Sheesh. Oh, my boy Hyro pulling up. Oh, we got the boy Hyro. Okay, okay. Oh, what's up, Doc? Waiting for a few more people, then we'll roll out right now. We're rolling out. Got the homie. Got the homie in the back. Got the homie up front. We got the line going. I'm gonna pull up to the homie's pad right now. Work some magic. You feel me? We're almost there, we took a little back road cruise. I really hope my old pressure holds up fine. Please just hold up fine. Just so I can surprise this kid on his birthday and I'll fix you after. I promise, just hold on in there. Cause I'm gonna be banging the shit out of these pops, man. Let the show begin. Where's my boy Harold revs at, bro? Come on, rev that bitch. Let's see you spit some flames or something. I'm crazy, I'm crazy. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the videos. It's your boy Tony reporting live. We got a beautiful day here in beautiful California and now we're gonna jump straight into the video. As you guys have seen, we've been working on the bug a lot, getting a lot of stuff done, getting this pretty ready for for the parts that are coming in. Um, and one of the things today we have to take care of is the firewall being this thing, this thing, and it just looks nasty as hell with this one on. It just looks disgusting. Like I just I just can't look at it. There's no point in having a very nice painted chromed out engine if this all this nastiness is still gonna be there. So that's not gonna work. So today we're gonna fix that. Now this is my dad's engine bay, and there's a few options that you guys can go with when you guys do like the firewall stuff. Obviously, there's paint that my dad painted both like the sides, and there's like this stainless steel sheet back here with the with the lovers in there. And honestly, I was gonna get this, but for the price that they were selling for this for, I think the whole kit was like 81 bucks and that was just completely ridiculous, even for bug prices, for me at least. That was just me though, you, I don't know. That's just me, it just seemed expensive for me. So then I felt like, I felt like I could do a much better job for a lot less. With that being said, I went to Lowe's, got myself some stainless steel and uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna draw out a template and we're gonna make the firewall out of this. It doesn't have the cuts in it like I wanted it to, but this should work just as fine for what I needed to do. So I got a big one for the main piece, and then I got the smaller piece for the side side walls, side firewall, I guess. So uh, now we just need to draw out a, draw out a template, and then we should be able to just be able to just cut it and go from there. So for this rear one, like the back one, I'm pretty sure we can just make out a square, 
like this one we can just make out a square because it's 16 tall and 36 wide but uh, for these corner ones it's gonna be a little bit trickier so i'm probably gonna get some cardboard and make a template first but this one from what i see on my dad it's literally just like it's literally just a square but it's got a cut out for basically the sheet in the back for the tranny and uh, it doesn't seem to be that bad but first things first though we gotta start taking off all the old one because that thing has got to go man that thing is disgusting yeah, that thing is disgusting. We need, to, we need to pull that out ASAP. Look how crusty that thing is, bro. Golly. Take this thing off. I'm not really sure what that is, but I just know we gotta take it off, so. It's out it's it's a complete mess but it's out so we got everything taken out but there's still like all kinds of gunk in there i don't know if you guys can see that it's like all kinds of gunk in there that we need to obviously get out so i'll probably come in here with the vacuum but uh, i'm probably gonna get started on the mold now just to get that out of the way because it needs to like go in here where my fingers are it needs to go in there it needs to go behind this thing so Got a, bit, got a little bit of work to do, but nothing too crazy. We should be able to just be, take care of it. One other thing I forgot is I forgot I got these gaskets for these. So this thing, I just took it off and I re I'm replacing both of those gaskets. Uh, I'm replacing both of these gaskets. So let's go do that. This is pretty much like the oil cooler on a stock bug. Just to cool the oil. Looks like a, you know, oil cooler. So before you guys goof up like I always do, take a picture of how this is oriented so you don't fuck it up and it actually works when you put it back. Alright, so I got these last time when I got the other, like my other bulk purchases. It's for the same kind and I'm glad I ordered the right ones because some of them don't come with like the step lip. And that would have been a problem because obviously these are step lip. So there's four of them and I got four so should be able to just change out the whole system. Yeah, these don't look too bad. These actually look newer than, than the other ones. So these might have gone changed out before, but not nah, they didn't do all four, which sucks. Cause you know, I'm pretty sure it was leaking from the other spot more. All right, now we got all that out of this out. Now I think what we need to do now is just go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Cause this is kind of disgusting. So we'll just clean it with the quicks. All right, that's as clean as it's gonna get. So we're just gonna go ahead and plop that thing on there. Getting, making sure that we, oh, oh. Just trying to make sure that they're actually seated properly. Now we're gonna get a fat ass oil leak. Well, my plan is is try to get the firewall in there without this on there, so that we have more room to work with. So I think that's what's gonna end up happening. So I figured, what better way to make a template than out of the actual one out the car? So whatever's left of it, I'm gonna plop it on top of the stainless steel and try to make my mold out of that. I'm gonna try to line this thing up best I can, and then try to draw the rest of it out. Genius strikes again, and I made my awesome template of it sitting perfectly flush in there. Out of some Cheerios box. I'm just gonna draw this over there and then cut this out as well.
let's go peep it now all right don't be mad at me the camera died so i just wanted to really really get it done so i put in some extra hours i got my hands all cut up trying to get it in there i don't know how you get it in here without messing up everything but i got it in there i'm not gonna lie it does look pretty baller like no cap obviously it's kind of dirty because i got my mitts all over it but i actually got it sitting to where it's supposed to be sitting like that tin is sitting perfectly you know obviously it's not bolted to anything because i gotta get the other ones to actually bolt it but it's actually coming out decent like it's all the way tucked in you know this is like the shittiest part i made the hole for this one i dislike it so much and it bothers me but like and then end result like you're mostly looking at like you know you get me this is more of a background kind of thing obviously it stands out like crazy right now so now all i gotta do is pretty much do the sides but i'm gonna have to paint some of this stuff because i think it only covers up to like right here so i need to might need to paint this and obviously the ground because if you guys don't know this used to be yellow but it's so dirty and so disgusting now that obviously it's not really looking yellow but probably paint this side too see you can see more of the yellow on this side I need to clean that up, paint it, because I don't want this to look yellow and then this to look yellow, because then I feel like it throws off the car. This used to be yellow, but my dad got down when he did the body work, and he buzzed down on it, and it came out good. So, I think right now I'm gonna make these templates with the cardboard. And since it's the same exact thing, I'm just, I'm just gonna mirror it on both sides, and then after that, I think we're gonna start prepping this and painting this and all that stuff. Because look how much gunk is in here. So I got the old one on here. So now I made a template and just cut this one out test fit it trim test fit trim and until i'm happy with the results pretty much now we just gotta go test fit this on the car and see how it looks like we have just about perfect fitment everywhere i wanted to but except it sticks out just the slightest just the slightest something i learned from making a lot of templates is you always want to use cardboard and you always want to trim the exact size you want and then transfer that onto your actual final product i don't know if i told you guys where i got the stainless steel from i actually got it from lowe's this one's a little bit smaller. It's like, it was like 23 bucks. This is the size of the other one. It's 24 by 48, if you guys can see that. 24 by 48. Sheesh, how did I literally come up with enough material for two of them, bruh? Sheesh. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut the other one right now anyways. Yo, that shit looks hell so good. It's not even in there fully. But that shit looks fire, man. Bruh, come on now, bro. Quit playing. Quit playing, my boy. I pretty much got everything taped up and covered up. Just protecting the important stuff like this thing. See, I'm not gonna go all the way up in there because that doesn't matter. I'm mostly gonna just paint like the bottom part like that and like these right here. So hopefully it doesn't, I don't think it's gonna be that hard. I think so I just laid out some clear coat and I think it came out pretty good. No lie. For something you're never gonna see, I think it's fine. I didn't want to overdo it and make it all pretty and stuff because you're just, you're just really not gonna see this more for like very small details, but this thing is making some big progress. Engine is looking nice. This is pretty much all we took out, all this junk and all this crap. This is complete trash. This thing's probably older than I am too, to be honest. So that, good thing we replaced that. Got these in here. Super happy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Did it come out decent? I think it came out pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. I think it really finishes up the the engine bay because we finally got rid of all the yellow you're not going to see any other yellow it's either going to be all blue all chrome or uh some some white some white here and there so i think it's coming together really nice let me know what you guys think if you guys like it too make sure to give this video a fat thumbs up don't forget to subscribe make sure to subscribe so you guys check out all our videos all our content we got a ton of stuff coming out man make sure to stay tuned so like i did mention i only did use one of the sheets of metal so this thing only came out to be like 30 30 something dollars which is super cheap for what i'm getting because like i mentioned the, fi the complete firewall kit is 81 dollars even the ones that doesn't have the little cuts in it basically the same thing and it's still 81 dollars so we saved the, i saved the, we saved about 50 bucks so with those 50 bucks we can go get more chrome and we all know that we want more chrome but uh i hope this video was helpful to some of you guys or for some of you else give you guys ideas for what to do with your guys's car i've only really seen this on volkswagens but i don't doubt that this can be done on, on a lot of other cars it makes the engine bay look a lot cleaner i can tuck the wiring behind the firewall it's great and amazing super happy with the results i'm gonna let this dry i'm gonna throw the other ones on and today my part should be getting here for the chrome but you guys are gonna get that in another video super excited about that this car is gonna start to come together i'm gonna wait for the parts hopefully start putting it back together now i am gonna start reassembly the day after today so i might as well just throw the oil cooler back on with its brand new gaskets you can see it in there hopefully this will not leak no more so let's just go ahead and throw this on real quick 
this thing is nice and sturdy not gonna go anywhere so hopefully next video we can start reassembly i want to thank you guys so much for watching kick it in with me today i hope you guys have an amazing blessed wonderful day and i catch you guys on the next one If you guys stay tuned in the video one i appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart and two i'm gonna give you guys a little, i'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of what's coming for the next video got all my painted parts right here all ready to go and i just got this box full of chrome and uh, some other maintenance stuff so we got a bunch of bolts washers pulleys intake bolts and some more chrome brackets this is gonna go on the car next i'm gonna start assembling it right now but that's gonna be a different video for you guys so just had just wanted to give you guys a quick sneak peek since you guys stay till the end of the video make sure to make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on this video man this video is going to be a banger